And now for some product announcements, please welcome to the stage Chief Product Officer at Domo, Catherine Wong. Artificial intelligence and machine learning are the best accelerants to your company's success. You've invested tons of time, resources, and energy in collecting and storing data, collecting and creating these data lakes, and there's huge potential in that data. We also know that that potential is still under leveraged. AI and ML transform that latent potential into electricity, power, and energy for your organization. There are three ways that we think about it, and we're going to make product announcements today around these three categories. First, leverage machines for what they're great at. Second, embrace the ecosystem, the tools and the integrations that data engineers and data scientists love. And third, unlock your people, from business user to analyst to data scientist, enabling them to take action. We've loved seeing you, our customers, leverage our data science investments over the years. And today, we're announcing three new tools in your data science arsenal to unlock your data scientists and leverage machine learning at even more scale. Our first announcement today is our Did You Know feature. This, this puts machines to work for you, generating custom insights without investing your people. Massive machine learning engines are scanning your incoming data that you've connected into Domo for anomalies, trends, correlations, and outliers. And what's interesting is, the more data you connect into the Domo platform, the more powerful it becomes for you. Introducing automated analysis in the palm of your hand with Did You Know? You've collected a lot of data around your business, and somewhere in the lake of transactions and impressions is an actionable insight. But discerning the relevant from the irrelevant can be a challenge. What if Domo could automatically discover, visualize, and serve up insights about your business to anyone at any level? It sounds like magic, but for the first time, there is a single system that connects to all of your data sources and understands the raw data as more than just rows and columns. Domo uses machine learning algorithms to identify and deliver insights that are relevant to you. It may be an outlier, a sales rep who is outperforming his peers despite being in lackluster territory. Maybe it's a correlation, a previously unrecognized link between successful franchises and average employee wage. It could be a trend, showing that a customer's drop in activity just before the renewal means they are likely headed for a competitor. As you view, share, and take action on these insights, you are tuning Domo's recommendation engine to what is relevant to you and people like you. Every day your data is in Domo, Mr. Roboto is getting smarter, and you have new actions, new alerts, and new insights into how your business is performing and what you can do to make a difference. It's not magic, it's just Domo. We are so excited to share this with you today to give you a demo of Did You Know and take you behind the scenes on the algorithms on how it works. Please welcome Dr. Bain Ainscoff, Head of AI, and Sarah Chalupa, Manager of Consulting at Domo, to the stage. Ben, I am so excited about Did You Know and how it allows me to leverage machine learning in my day-to-day -day job at Domo. So Josh spoke a little bit about this earlier today, and now I get to demo it for everybody here in the mobile app. So here we have an insight, and at the top, Domo's showing me what type of insight this is. And I can see that it's an outlier. There's also a description accompanied by a visualization, and then relevant contextual information. At the bottom, I'm able to take action in the tool by subscribing, sharing, liking, or disliking this insight. And Sarah, you were telling me about an insight that was interesting for you in your role. Can you show that to me? Absolutely. So this is the one that made me really excited about 
about this feature. Here's an insight about the number of data flows that our customers have. And it's pointing out an outlier to me. And I can see here that the account name is Stravello. Stravello has a significantly larger number of, of data flows than any other customer. In fact, they have 8,000 above the average customer. So in my role in consulting, I want to enable our customers to be successful with the platform. And this insight prompts me to proactively reach out to one of our most active users of data flows and see how they're using Domo um, and, and what can we do to partner with them and optimize it. So because this is something I didn't know about before, I'm going to share this with Alexandra, the account executive. Sending that off. I'm going to subscribe to it so that I'm notified if it changes in the future. And I'm going to like it so that the machine learns that this is something that I'm interested in. It's valuable to me. Now, I told you that I'm excited. Mr. Roboto not only provided an insight that I was completely unaware of before, but it gave me relevant information so that I could take immediate action. And I didn't have to do anything besides input my data into Domo. That's pretty cool. So I know that there's a ton going on in the back end to make this such a seamless experience for me. So could you tell us a little bit more about what's going on there? Yeah, for sure. The amazing thing about machine learning, like Josh told us earlier, is it enables new capabilities for our business. And in, did you know we're powering it with three machine learning algorithms? First, we find the data sets that you care about. Then we calculate accurate insights. And finally, we recommend personalized insights for you. So to find the accurate insights, we all know that we have thousands of data sets in Domo, and we have all of our people in Domo. But Domo tracks how our people interact with that data. And here, Sarah, you can see your activity. That's pretty cool. But I, there are thousands of data sets in Domo. And this insight was served to me on a data set that I don't really interact with on a day-to-day -day basis. So how do you know that that would be valuable to me? Yeah, so what we need to do is take this sparse data, your activity in this multidimensional tensor, and we need to encode it using an algorithm called matrix factorization that allows us to determine two latent matrices, one that encodes the aspects of data that you care about, and the other, what each data set encodes, right? So this matrix factorization allows us to then combine these two latent matrices to produce an individualized score for how much you're going to care about each and every data set in Domo. Hmm. OK. I like being the center of attention, obviously. But uh, this seems like you know my, what I'm interested in better than I do. And we're able to leverage that information to calculate insights that are uh, meaningful to you, right? So we take this personalized list of data sets, and then we calculate statistical insights on them, trends, outliers, like we talked about earlier. But we need to be sure that we're not using the wrong statistical tool for the job. We don't want to use a screwdriver to drive a nail. We want to use a hammer to drive the nail. So we have another machine learning algorithm that determines which statistical type every column of data in Domo is. And we can also leverage that algorithm to serve the, to calculate the right insights, but also to give you relevant contextual information when we serve an insight to you. And then we only serve those insights that are statistically significant to you. Finally, we'll take all of your activity data, and also, since we have your org chart in Domo, we can take the activity data of your peers and the insights that you liked and disliked in the past to feed into a new re um, recommendation algorithm using matrix factorization to recommend insights individual to you. That is pretty cool. Domo's doing a ton of work on the back end for me. And uh, you know, chaining together these three algorithms, assessing millions of, of potential outcomes, and uh, serving it to me in a really personalized way, I think that that's fantastic. Um, but yesterday, I was actually asking you why, why this specific insight was delivered to me. And you said that that can be difficult to, to explain and pinpoint. Is that because we're combining the three algorithms together? That's part of the problem. Whenever we add complexity to any system, it's difficult to get interpretability. But with machine learning algorithms individually, we have an accuracy and interpretability trade-off. 
So you see here, on the left, you have these circles. Let's think of these as we're thinking of an election, right? So on the left, these circles are voters, and on the right are the candidates. It's fairly straightforward to tally up who the voters voted for to win an election, but much more difficult to understand why a candidate won the election, because we'd have to ask each of the voters. Now, when we add more voters to the equation, then they're influencing each other, and it becomes more difficult to understand what's going on there. This is very similar to how neural networks work. As we add more complexity to the system, it's able to learn um, and do more um, amazing things for us, but then we lose the interpretability of why it's doing what it's doing. The benefit is, is, as data flows through these algorithms, it's able to automate tasks for us and unlock new opportunities. And as we give it our feedback, it will be trained to become better and better and provide more value to us, just like you saw with Did You Know? Wow. I'm really excited to continue using it. And we're really excited for all of you to use it also. Thank you.